Hello everyone, my name is Kevin Jones coming from Red Hat. Today I want to talk to you about Backup and Restore for your OpenStack workloads. So we can do this with a partner named Trilio and their software called Trilio Vault. And what we can do is actually give the end user self-service capability to backup and restore the workloads they care about. So in this project I've set up two instances. One is a Windows Server 2012 R2 instance and one is a RHEL 7.6 instance. Both of them have an ephemeral disk for the operating system and a separate one gigabyte disk for the data. They are on separate private networks, so one RHEL on the private A network and one Windows on the private B network, all attached to a Neutron router with floating IPs. So you'll notice in my horizon that I actually have an extra tab called backups, and here I'm going to create a workload. In this case, a workload is just a collection of VMs that I want to back up. I'm setting a schedule on them so it will actually nightly backup them through the end of October. I'm going to keep two snapshots in history so as it moves through it will roll over the snapshots that it has. And this first one I'm going to create is just the collection. So the workload is just a collection. From here, once it's available, we can actually manually create a snapshot or I could just wait until the scheduler kicked it off at 2 a.m. tomorrow morning. But in this case, I'm just going to kick off a full one to show you that I have the capability to back these up. So there's two options, incremental and full. Because I don't have a full, even if I chose incremental here, it would still do a full backup uh, because there's some smarts in the Trulia software to do that for me. I've sort of cut through um, because the actual size of this you see there is 52 gigabytes, so 10 gigs for the RELA system and a 40 gig disk for the Windows system. But you can see now that the backup, the actual size on disk on the storage target, which is an NFS backend, is 12 gigs. And we have this workload now. And it also not only includes the disk, but the metadata about the instances. So the network that they were on, the IP, the security groups, the volumes attached, and all the IDs that OpenStack tracks. And so we now have a nice full backup of these two VMs um, in our setup. And the, the next thing I'm going to show you is just the next incremental backup. So again, I could have let the scheduler run and it would have done this for me, but I just want to show you in the video what this looks like to create an incremental from here. So this is Trilio software taking advantage of the storage projects inside of OpenStack, particularly Cinder and uh, Nova ephemeral storage. So right now you can see that this incremental backup is now 3.3 megabytes. So it's taken the difference of what hasn't been backed up yet and just creating an incremental snapshot of those instances and their volumes. Now I'd like to take you behind the scenes and show you what an OpenStack administrator would see. We can see there's a new tab in Horizon called Trilio Vault Dashboard and this gives us a quick overview of the current state of our backup and restore software capability. So my target is an NFS backend but this could also be an S3 compatible storage backend. I have one virtual machine that is running the API layer and the controller for Trilio Vault. And then on each of my nodes, I actually have a data mover service that was deployed by Red Hat OpenStack Platform Director. And you can see the status of those is green. And then my storage target is an, in a local NFS share that I have with about 1.8 terabytes of storage capability in total. And then lastly, I just wanted to show you how you can turn on and off the job scheduler for Trilio. The Trilio software is actually licensed either by VM or by hypervisor. So now that we've done backups, I wanted to show you what it would be like to actually restore a workload. So going back into our project tab, you can see the two VMs there. And what I'm going to do is actually delete the rel instance. And you can see that OpenStack warns you that this is not a recoverable action. Right, so this is actually just fully going to delete the system from the environment. The next thing I'm going to do is actually go to the volumes and I'm going to delete the snapshots of the rel data volume and the volume itself. All of these warning me all along the way that this is not a recoverable action. So at this point I have no rel, no history of my rel 7.6 VM. I have no history of that data volume. If I did not have backup and restore capability or the initial backup itself, um, I would not have the ability to recover this workload. But what I'm going to do is go into my last incremental. I'm going to do a selective restore, so just putting a name and a, and a description there. The mapping is the private networks to the existing private networks. 
Um, and then I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unselect the Windows VM as it still exists, but I'm going to leave the RHEL 7.6 VM as part of the restore set the flavor, and I'm going to kick off this restore. The restore itself takes about three minutes or so. I did cut out a little bit of time and speed this up for your viewing pleasure, but just wanted you to see that this is actually pulling from the incremental, last incremental, and restoring this VM into my OpenStack project. It took about three minutes and 19 seconds or so to accomplish that. If we go back to our instances screen, you'll see that it is now there. I can reassociate the floating IP that I had originally. And this VM, as far as I'm concerned, is right back online. I'll show you the console here to just to show you that it is booted up and running. And then show you the volume tab to show that my volume is restored and attached to that VM. As you can see, by adding the Trilio Vault software, I've added a tremendous self-service backup and restore capability for my Red Hat OpenStack platform users.